here we're going to be looking at working with the new Content Aware Move tool, which is featured in Photoshop CS6. And this tool, which is found down here in the Tools panel, grouped with the Spot Healing Brush and the Healing Brush, and just below the Patch tool is the new Content Aware Move tool. This tool has got two mode options, which is to either move or to extend. And to begin with, I'm going to start using the Move method here and show you how by using the Content Aware Move tool it's possible to move an object such as the leaf that we see here, move it to another part of the picture and cover up the original part of the picture where the leaf is at the moment. So to do this I'm going to come down to the Layers panel and click to add an empty new layer so that with the Sample All Layers option selected up here I can apply this um, Content Aware Move uh, adjustment adding the pixels to an empty new layer and then uh, to make things quicker I'm just going to use this alpha channel that I had created down here to load this up as a selection and with the selection active go back to the layers panel and then all I have to do is just click inside the selection area and then just move the selection across to wherever I want to place it in the image and you'll see it sometimes takes a little while to carry out the processing whilst you do this. But as you can see here, what it's done is it's made a copy of that leaf, moved it to the new area that I just moved it to, and then covered up the original area using a Content Aware Fill technology to fill in the gap. Now, as in uh, another movie example, which is contained on the website, where I show how to work with the patch tool and content aware uh, film mode, you can see that it hasn't done a completely perfect job. And so there's a little bit missing off the leaf down here and also on the stem of the leaf down here at the bottom. So we can resolve this by choosing different adaptation methods, which can be selected here from the uh, menus. So, by going through each of these, we can see what the effect would be of selecting different types of adaptation methods. And you can see that by choosing the very loose option, it now looks even worse. So let's try going up to see what happens when I select the medium option. Still not quite there. I'll choose the strict method, getting much closer. And so if I now try the very strict method, this is the final version where I think you agree that now using this version, although not completely 100% perfect, it's done a much better job out of all of those of completing a successful content aware move. So now let's have a look at working with the extend mode. If I now switch over to working with this image, again, I'm going to start with a selection um, by loading this selection that I saved here to define the outline of the clouds and then switch the Content Aware Move mode from Move to the Extend mode. And here, what you can do using this method with the Content Aware Move tool is, as you might assume, is to extend objects so that you can add to what's already there rather than filling in. So to show you what I mean, if I just click inside that selection and just drag across with the tool and then release, it takes a little while usually just to carry out the processing. You can see that what it's done is it's allowed me to take that original selection of the clouds, move it so that we end up now with a new cloud formation. And if I wanted to, I could just undo that and then try dragging again and see if I can get a slightly different result. And if I hide the marching ants, then we choose to hide those. Again, we can try playing around with different uh, adaptation methods to see what the final outcome will be. And you can see that each time I choose a different method that the blend changes very slightly so we can get different types of results. And then lastly, I'll just go for the very loose option. So there you have it, um, two ways that you can work now with the Content Aware Move tool. One showing you how you can move an object and replace it in the scene and then cover up the original area. And as I've just shown you here, using the Extend mode, you can extend objects. Mm -hmm.